three. Okay, hello. Welcome to the Bugs in My Backyard video podcast. Uh, I am Jonathan Nicola, and this is Bennett Nicola, age seven. This is Samuel Nicola, age nine. And uh, we also have a couple of kids who are not on this episode, but will be on future ones. Henry, age four, who just can't sit still very long, even for a few minutes. And Elisa, age 11. Uh, so we have a family full of kids who like to talk about insects and learn about insects. And so we thought we'd do this video podcast as a fun way for them and me to talk to other kids mm-hmm. about insects. Yeah. So that's what we've got. And we want to share some things with you about our family today and just basics about insects. Uh, so first, I'm going to ask these guys, what do you love the most about insects? Okay, Bennett. What do you love? They do amazing things. They do amazing things. So we're going to figure out what that means. Samuel, do you have anything to add to that? No. Nope. No. Nope. That's pretty good. Cover it all. Cover it all. <laughs> I love, one thing I love about insects is that they're everywhere. Like wherever you go, that's why we call it the Bugs in My Backyard podcast. They're everywhere. In your backyard, they're in the, at the parking lot, they're in a field, everywhere, everywhere you look, we have bugs, right? Next question. What is your favorite insect? Bennett, what's your favorite insect? A butterfly. And why why do you like butterflies? Because they are colorful. Okay. Do you have a favorite insect? A cockroach. A cockroach? Yeah. Really? Why is that? Because (laughs) they make really loud sounds. And and, and it... They're slimy. Okay, so he likes cockroaches. Yeah. We'll have to unpack that. Mom might not like that one so much. So uh, I like, my favorite is called the cicada killer wasp, which we'll probably do an episode on in the future because it's our biggest wasp and people are scared of it, but they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be scared of it. It's not dangerous. So um, we're going to get into some things. Let's show you how our family experiences insects. This is um, a picture that we love of Samuel and Bennett and the butterfly is crawling. Yeah, and that's Henry's finger in the picture. That butterfly is crawling up Bennett's neck and he's, and we, we had brought chrysalises in from outside and they uh, had butterflies emerge from them. And so this is right after it emerged. That's a black um, swallowtail caterpillar or butterfly. Mm-hmm. And Samuel, it's crawling up on Samuel's finger. So we were very careful with it because it's drying its wings right when it comes out of the chrysalis. But we were able to, to observe it a little bit. Uh, another picture here, we've got Bennett uh, with one of our praying mantis pets on his hand. That, unfortunately, he lived a long life, but he's no longer with us, and that's a, a ghost mantis. Uh, let's see what other pictures we have. Bennett, what was it like having a praying mantis on your arm? Uh, kind of weird. Yeah, kind of weird. Well, here's another picture of Bennett holding a uh, caterpillar. You can see in his hands. Bennett, what kind of caterpillar was that? It was a horned caterpillar. Hornworm caterpillar? Mm -hmm. And why do they call it a hornworm caterpillar? Because they have a horn on their butt. They do. They have a big horn on their butt. And they turn into sphinx moss, which we will also talk about uh, in the future. And then uh, there's a cool picture I like to show people of all kids playing. Um, yeah, not Samuel in this one, but it is Elisa and the boys outside, two of the boys, and I think they were collecting painted lady butterflies, but you don't think that's what it was? Mm-mm. Well, you guys were collecting beetles? What kinds Soldier. of beetles? Soldier beetles. And they were observing them? They were all over the flowers. They were all over the flowers, yeah. You got to talk up. There are people in the area. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, let's see what's another picture we can show people about our family playing with bugs. Um, here's a here's a good one of uh, of Elisa again and two of the boys. That's, oh. They were oh well, there's there's a butterfly again. Oh, so a butterfly come there? out of a chrysalis, and that's Henry and Elisa. And Is that Benny? Pretty sure that's Benny. Benny. Yep, that's I Benny. I think that's after I took a shower. <laughs> yeah, it's your hair looks weird. clean. You look so weird. You're, you're not used to what it looks like after you take it's a shower. Brown. <laughs> well, we anyway, anyway, we like insects in this family. In fact, um, Bennett even let um, his teacher know. Why can't I show this? 
then it wants to grow up and be an entomologist. Because we should make a point. Are any of us entomologists right now? What, actually, what is an entomologist? Samuel. A, guy, a person, not a guy or a girl, so, who studies bugs. Bugs, right. And we're not entomologists. So we're not, but, but Bennett maybe will be someday. But we still love to share people with people about it. So hopefully, maybe we'll inspire some people to be entomologists yeah. someday. All right. So what we're going to do now is do a really quick, what is an insect? Okay. So we're going to go to a little presentation we have. Insects, we can't live without them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they do amazing things, like Bennett said. Yeah. I said you can find them everywhere. And what Samuel could have said is, we depend on them for survival. But she didn't. They clean up poop. Yeah, they clean up poop. We'll get to that. Ew. So what is an insect? What makes something an insect? <gasps> me, 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 me. What? Both of you just go for it. They have three body parts and six legs. Okay. And wings and antennas. Okay, that is way too much. Anything else, Samuel? <laughs> uh, they have antennae. Oh, 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 oh. I know, yeah, I know. said that. I know, I know. Wings. I know. They have an exoskeleton. They have an, so they're... they're they're, they're invertebrates, so they don't have a backbone like us. Instead, they have an exoskeleton. Yep, absolutely. In fact, let's show, let's show them one of our big fake bugs. Okay, so if we look at, this is a, someone from, from work bought these for me as a funny gift, so I'm gonna use them. So here is, here is a, an insect. You have, you have the wings, because they usually can fly. You have, you have, there's the abdomen. <laughs> this isn't working out. Let me use the one Bennett's got. I like that better. Okay. There we go. So we have abdomen. That's the back of the bug. We have the thorax. And we have a head. And then we have antenna. And then you can't see the wings on this beetle, but there's wings under there. And six legs. So that makes an insect. So if you see a spider, in fact, let's go to that, guys. Let's see what else... What else can be an insect here? Let's see. All right, so that is our insect mm -hmm. with, the, with the three body parts, two pairs of wings, six legs, two antennae. So I got a game to play. <gasps> Yay! Is, is an it an insect? All right. Is this asparagus beetle an insect? Yes. Yes. Ding! It's pretty, that's a pretty easy ding, one. Ding, ding, yeah. ding, you see the body parts, you see the wings, you see the legs, you see the antennae. A worm. No. No. How come? Because it does not have any legs and no head. No. Yeah, or worm body part. Anything, right. So that's a big no. Ding, 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 ding. A wasp. Okay, stop. Yes. A wasp is an insect. It has the body parts. It has the wings. It has the legs and the antennae. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Roly polies. I know. What? No. 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 In fact, it is a type of? Crustacean. Yeah, how'd you know that? Good job, kid. Yes, I remember. You remember it? Ding, 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 ding. Right. So roly polies. While we roly polies are fun and they're in the dirt, they're not insects. A spider. <laughs> no. No. And what? How many body parts does a spider have? Two. 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 How many legs does it have? Eight. Eight. Yep. So just do the math. Actually, it kind of. And that's a butterfly. Why do you want me to go back? Because what are these things? Those are teeth. <laughs> we'll have to do that in a study about insects and about spiders. All right, so let me go on to something else. Why, Why do we care? So this is the part oh, about oh, how oh, they help oh, us. Oh, oh, oh. Why do we care? Why do we care? Bennett. Because um, they uh, they eat the bugs so that there aren't too many bugs. And and then what do we do with the chicken? They feed the chicken. And then who eats the chicken? Beetles. Us. We do. So we need bugs for that. Yeah. What kind of beetle is this? I know. Oh, what is it, Sam? Ew. A dung beetle. A dung beetle. <laughs> and what do they do? They clean up poop. poop. They eat it. There'd be, there'd be poop all over the place if it weren't for dung beetles. They and clean up vultures. like in, in cow pastures and things like that. Vultures. vultures don't eat poop. Well, they eat. But vult, okay, we'll get to that later on. <laughs> Lady beetles, ladybugs. Why do we care about them? Why? Because they eat aphids, which eat milkweed. Then Where the other plants? butterflies die, and then the pollen or the nectar goes down, no. and then the yeah. Flowers which die. which the point is they eat bad bugs. So yeah. sometimes a good insect eats a bad insect. So why? That's why we need them. 
Um, and we'll talk about ladybugs in the future. And this is a carrion beetle, which does what? Like vultures. It eats like dead um, animals. It helps. Kill. It helps clean up dead animals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and because dead animals attract disease and mm-hmm. attract bad insects and other things, so that's a carrion beetle, and that's what that does. So and what about what's this? An ant hill. An ant hill. And ants actually, what they do. They go under and they aerate the soil for us. And the aerating soil is really important. Just like worms. Yeah, and worms do it too, although they're not an insect. But they aerate the soil to help us give or, get us better worms soil. Poop. Yeah. yeah, they help fertilize it, the worms do. So that's, that's a basic introduction, I think. Oh, and then, of course, oh, how do we miss this one? What's, what, are they, what, is, what is that bee doing in that? Pollinating. Pollinating, right. That's what gives us flowers and food. And so forth. That's I think that's I think that's a leaf cutter bee, not a mason bee. Oh. Well, I can still hold it. Yeah. Actually, yep. I have and one. what? Yeah. Point being, most bees and wasps are safe, right? Uh huh. Most are, and we don't need to be afraid of them. And I've held a mason bee. Yeah. We'll talk about that in the future. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna call, we're gonna stop that introduction, and um, and call it call it an episode today. But that's a basic introduction of insects. We love insects. We love to talk about them. And I uh, hope you join in for more podcasts uh, when we come to you from our backyard and discussing what we find. All right. Thanks. Peace out. Ah, there we go. Peace ah. out. That's peace out. That's peace out.